Hey everybody, Kismos here, back again with Arafel. We are... we've just fallen down uh, in this mysterious area. We've got a sparkling thing which knocks us back. Ow, it's another one of those stupid magic barrier things. I wonder if there's a way to open it nearby. Uh, I will also note for anybody uh, who is also watching Lorgon 11, or if he's watched, deciding to watch this, I am going to make some amount of effort to do things slightly differently than he's done, at least as far as, you know, where I go and in what order. Uh, for example, the dialogue here is was different for Brian, simply because I actually went to the sparkling in the last episode that was blocking our way. So, you know, this time she comments on that. On his playthrough, she doesn't, simply because she hasn't been there. So, when, at least up until I get to the point where I'm pay, playing past what he has up, I will make be making some effort to do that. Heck, a skeleton. Hmm. I barely see it. But it looks like there's a note carved into the floor here. I wonder if I can make out what it says. Turn back. Yeah, great idea, skeleton. Thanks for the heads up. Um, but anyway, as far as the decision, I'm not, you know, if it's, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm just not going to do that quest because he did or whatever, but where there's an option to do things in a different order, and I recognize it, and just don't decide that I don't like the alternative available, I'll attempt to do differently, but that's just a minor thing. Anyways, let's pull the lever crunk. That sounded like it came from outside. Also, is this a chest? It looks chestish. A little stone chest? Apparently not. I've pushed the button. And that sparkle is gone. We can navigate through the cave and come across our spirit lady. It's that ghost lady again. Hmm. Hello? Can you help me? I fell down here and I don't know how to get out. Hmm. Hmm. Splash. Love the little splash animation. <laughs> Such a tiny little thing, but it, it just pleases me greatly. Except when I accidentally do it, which happens occasionally. Alright, so we've got across the bridge, and we've got up here. I think I want to go over here first. I always prefer going to a place I'm not supposed to go first. That way, you know, I can get any... Aha! Optional loot. 50 coins. Alright, not bad. I also like that it's not a text box that I have to dismiss. And jump. Alright, so nothing over here, I don't think. Alright, we can't get past there. Ooh, and sparkly rock crystals. Or crystal, or rather. And ominous door. Okay, any door in a rune is ominous. Huh? It's a little ring. Could this be what Adrian came to find? I wonder if I should take it. Take the ring, yes. So much trouble for this dumb thing. It's kind of pretty, I guess. Well, that's always a terrible idea. Whoa. Whatever that sound is, it's really starting to word me out. Did, did you hear the music? Another secret door. Opening suspiciously right after I took this ring. Oh, ominous. Oh, I don't run into another one of those awful white monster things in there. Alright, so if we go to crafting, it's still a little weird for me to go to crafting rather than equipment. Let's see, she now has artifact. Dion's ring named after a legendary elven hero can hold tier 1 enchantments. So she's got that, and I mean, we don't have, we don't know any recipes or anything like that, but it is there. Wait, was that a... Okay, no, I thought a craft was available to her. I can't, no, I cannot make any of these. So let's go into the door. And got some more rock crystals. Tink, tink, tink. 
Love the little tink. Anything up here? Nope. Though if you're somehow not familiar with the way I play, I'm also very forgetful, so I will likely, you know, despite having watched some of this before, I will still do things that I should know better than. Anyways, it's a pretty deep hole. Should I climb into it? Yes, of course. And so somehow that wrapped all the way back around, landing her right where she started. Ow! What? Oh no, I'm here again. I finally thought that was going to be the way out. Oh god, I'm going to die in here, aren't I? I'm exhausted. I guess I'll keep looking for a way out in the morning. Thump. Man, I wish I could go to sleep like that. Just standing to just to sleep. Though I think that might be called passing out. Hmm. That morning. Yeah, passing out in rocks is probably not that great. Especially just going from standing, that has gotta hurt, right? Looks like the girl's well enough. Some bumps and bruises. Nothing out of the ordinary for splunking, eh? I see. Well, you have my deepest gratitude for rescuing my daughter. I'll see to her reward for this. Ah, oh, don't trouble yourself with that. I ain't gonna tell your daughter to be more careful, though. Indeed. I'll see to it that she is appropriately rem reprimanded. Indeed! No, me? Watch Kurt? To way too much possible anyways mr. Lakata, I'm really sorry this happened I'm sure you are now be quiet and stay away from my daughter from now on am I understood yes sir now then let's get her home you're from Aloria, I take it just so happens I've got a wagon of goods headed there for the market I'll travel there with you Put the girl in the back of the cart. Let her sleep with the vegetables for a bit. Yeah, sleep with the vegetables, see? Then I am twice in your debt, Remor. I thank you again. I got a feeling I'll be repaid one way or another. The girl's me a favor. Leave it at that for now. Come on, I want to get to Aloria while the morning's still young. Yeah, definitely not doing an old man voice because those are some of the roughest. Alright, we've got credits and all that you know maybe that short section was short enough I should have just uh, done in the last episode oh well still uh, can sometimes be a little hard to judge when you do things anyways so Jordan adventurer eh boy hmm me yeah I guess you could say that is that how you make your living dangerous work you never know what sort of evil things lurk in the dark yeah, well, fighting's about all I'm good at. So it's at this, or being a guard at Castle Atana. Ruins are more interesting. Besides, somebody has to face up against those evil things, right? My boy, I reckon somebody does. There's no reason that someone has to be my little girl. So, very quality music. I'm hoping the music was purpose made for this so I won't run into, uh, you know, YouTube copyright claim problems because, man, those can be a headache at times. We're nearly to Aloria. Is the girl still asleep? She is. She must have been quite exhausted from the bumpy ride not to have woken her. Hi, an evening of Splunking will do that to you. Wasn't there an archery competition later today? I heard the girl was competing in it. She is, if she can drag herself out of bed to compete in it, and I decide to allow it after this nonsense. Yeah, so, uh... Well, here we are. Not too late in the morning, either. Looks like your daughter slipped right through it. Without your help, she might have still been trapped in there. I thank you again, Remor. Happy to do it, stranger. Alright. I want to get these vegetables to Mark before they get slept on some more. Help me bring Lita inside, then leave my home. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Off we go, then. But if you'll pardon my being forward, I don't think you should get go too rough on your daughter. 
There's a lot to see in this world. It's hard to resist. All right then, to the bazaar. Hmm. Chapter one. Boy, I kind of hoped to separate this neatly at the chapters, but uh, not going to do an episode this short. So there's a lot of running around to do, and we'll get into that. Ugh, morning already. I hate that stupid bell. Wait, where am I? Back home? Was was that all a dream? I see you're awake. No, it's not a dream. With the help of some dwarves, I rescued from that you from that hole. Oh, uh, good morning, Papa. Listen, I'm really sorry about that. I, uh... I am not interested in your excuses, child. You could have been hurt or even killed, Lita. I am rapidly losing my patience with your reckless behavior. I know, but I was really careful this time. It's not my fault a trapdoor opened up beneath, under my feet. The treasure we are looking for is really important, so... An important treasure? And that was reason enough to put yourself in such danger? Again? Hmm. And on the evening of your archery contest... You should have been resting last night and practicing today. I had intended to take you on your first hunt after the competition as a reward for all your hard work. Well, you can forget about that. I have half a mind to bar you from the competition as well. Papa, no, come on! I've been looking forward to going on my first hunt for years now! You should have thought of that before I was dragged to Savara in the dead of night to pull you out of that hole. It was an accident! I know it was an accident. It's always a damn accident with you. Hey, I'm sorry I fell in a stupid hole, but I'm not sorry for not wanting to be trapped in Aloria. I don't want to spend the rest of my life picking apples and feeding chickens. God, you sound just like your mother. What was that? N nothing, dear. Yeah, Mama, tell him how it is. Grr, that man is impossible. All right, all right, calm down, Lita. He's a jerk. It's not like he doesn't have a point. <sighs> I've gotten into trouble a lot lately. Should, should go find Pop and apologize. But first, loot everything. 25 coins. Anything here? Okay, I do know if we read the books. The History of Arafel. Long ago, Arafel was once part of the Underworld. That world's true name has been lost to the ages and has come to be known as the Abyss, the world of the dead. There are many gods that have claimed kingdoms as their own in the Abyss. Since the dawn of time, gods coveted the land and wealth of one another. Small skirmishes often erupted between them. In time, a great war began between the gods for control of the Abyss. All the gods fought except the goddess of the sun, who lifted Arafel into the sky to protect her children from the war. All the gods died and all their kingdoms were destroyed. Only the kingdom of Arafel survived. The goddess granted her people with a gift to protect them, the Sunstone. Believing the god's power only brought corruption, she disappeared into the sky to join with the sun, so that light would always shine on Arafel. On that day, the abyss became the land of the dead. Yeah, so if you haven't noticed, pretty much the entire land is floating up in the sky. The abyss is what we would normally call the, the, the ground, I guess. Um... But it is now the land of the dead. Whether that's an actual, you know, the dead things live there, or just a, you know, people living in the sky don't think anything of it. Not sure yet. A feeling we'll get there eventually. But maybe not. The game is called Arafel after the land that's flooding in the sky, so who knows. Anyways. Well, shoot, Papa left already? I wonder where he went. Guess I should probably get, say good morning to Mom before I head out. And cat. Morning, Percy. And I love that the cat meows. I don't have any food for you. How dare you not have food for the cat. Hey, sis, what'd you do to Papa? He stormed down at here like he was ready to punch somebody in the nose. I sassed him when he scolded me for going out adventuring last night. Oh yeah, he did have that. Lita just sassed me look on his face. If he does punch somebody in the nose, that'd be pretty cool, huh?
Pardon me there, I was losing my voice for a second. But we're all good. Good morning, Mom. Where did Papa say he was going? He didn't, but I imagine he went out to Saramai Plains to help set up for the archery contest. He looked pretty angry. Did I hear him complaining about me up there? Well, he sounded I he said I sounded like you, if you want to call that complaining. I was something of an adventure when I was your age, you know. That was when your father and I first met. He didn't care for it then, and he doesn't want to see you go down the same path. Seeing how small you are, he's probably a little overprotective. I'm not that small. I know you can't, sweetheart. I missed a line there, apparently. But there's a subtle difference between bravery and foolishness. <sighs> I guess that's true. I'll try to be more careful. Anyway, I better go find Papa so I can apologize. Actually, you may want to speak with that boy first. You know that cute blonde one you have such a crush on? What's his name again? Excuse me, I don't have a crush on anybody. Adrian, that was it. Your father was a little, uh, brisk with him this morning. He all but forbade him from seeing you again. I don't think Adrian's a bad person, though, and your father will calm down eventually. You should talk to Adrian. I believe he's at the temple on the northeast side of town. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I will. Good. I love you, sweetheart. Good luck in the archery competition. Your father and I will both be here there. Thanks, Mom. Bye. A little thing in the base game, it also told you to get uh, apples, which were sparkling here, and something else. I don't remember what. Ooh, an enchantment recipe. These are used to enchant jewelry to make it stronger. I want to try it out. Oh. I may have missed that in my test playthrough. Anyways, so uh, that's the enchantment side of the crafting system I was telling you about. Do we have the things for it? We do. Do I... Really want to give that to her? Not really. Can I skip out and doing that for now? Yeah. That's more the kind of thing I would want Adrian to have, I feel. The temple's this way. Mom's right. I really ought to talk to Adrian after last night. Especially since I found his ring. Alright, and over here we have... Talani, the Traveling Merchant. Hello, I'm Talani, the Traveling Merchant. I've seen every corner of Arafel in my travels. You want to see something really neat, though? You should, first, you should find one of the big crystals hiding around Arafel. They have a secret. There's one of the Great Bazaar just across the bridge to the south. Anyway, do you need anything? We are going to shop. And, oh, that's 100 here. Okay. I'm not going to buy that here. Just kind of wanted to see. Uh, but you may have also noticed one of the options she... Anyway, those big crystals are really pretty. Even though he seems to know what they do. How strange. You may notice heal injuries, which... And you may wonder... Why would I need to heal injuries... When our HP resets after every fight. Well, essentially what it happens is if you die in a fight, or like one of your characters dies in a fight and is dead at the end, they get some kind of energy which gives a penalty. I haven't really looked into what the, how much of a penalty there is, but there is some degree of lingering injury. That is what you have her heal and think she may charge a bit for it. And a few other places you can get them healed possibly for free. I think it depends on where. So, I mean, hopefully we won't have to do that, but probably will at some point. Oh, hello, Lita. Why, I almost thought you were one of the ch school children at first, what with how small you are. Miss Jenny, you make that same dumb joke every time I talk to you. It's just because you're so cute. That really doesn't feel like a compliment when you say it. The reason it snows all the time is because the air above us is very cold, since we're so high up in the air. But the Cave of Life keeps warm air flowing near the, uh, the land. I just learned that. No, really, it is... But, uh, whoops. It's as fun as it looks. No, no, probably not. And if we talk over here... Hello, Lita. You look very pretty today. Oh, shucks. Could you do me a favor? Oh, you are buttering me up. I need a bag of flour from the Bazaar in the southern part of town. Do you mind getting me one? Fine. I'll get it for you. Thanks, kiddo. Here's 20 coins. The flour itself is only four. Get yourself something with the rest. Oh, thank you. My dog is gone. A lot of people in town have had their pets go missing lately, too. 
Really? How strange. I wonder what would have caused something like that. Ooh, more sparkles. I'm sure they don't mind me. Oh, actually, I'm curious. Lita, I swear to God, if you take one thing from my house, I'll have your hide for it. Do you understand me, young lady? Eh, screw it, I don't care. Take whatever you want. That's good, considering I just mined your wall. Ooh, wait, a chest! What about if I took this chest first? 30 coins. The book is titled The History of Mankind. Humans are a young race that lived in small tribes when the elves ruled Arafel. The war between elves and vampires rocked the world, and most of them died. After the elves turned themselves to stone, mankind began to build kingdoms and villages of their own, while the vampires lurked in the shadows. Unlike the elves, who were peaceful and unprepared for war, the world of men vowed to never be caught unaware, or ever become too weak to fight. So, because of what happened in the past, humans are a little more warlike. All good? Shoot, don't bother me, I'm an old man with better things to do than waiting on the village tomboy. A lot of townsfolk have had their pets come missing in the last few days. You're the news leader? Maybe. You have to be more specific. Well, ever since King Aragon fell ill, Lady Miranda has taken control of Castle Atana in his stead. Because the vampires have been attacking in larger numbers lately, she's preparing an army to invade Blood Forest. There hasn't been a major conflict on Arafel and God, I don't even know. Not in my lifetime. Hello there, Lita. The big archery contest is today, huh? Are you nervous? Yes, I'm a little. I don't blame you. I'd be nervous too if I had to perform in front of all those people. All those eyes, watching me, judging my every movement. Why, I'd, I'd just die in your position. You're not helping. Right, and the inn, we've got several people. Those three folks over there came from out of town. Orleans, they say. Awful far away. Hey there, Lita. Want something to drink? Let's take a look. Just buy basic potions and flasks of poison. I feel one should be worried about flasks of poison being sold at the inn. Who are those strange people? They came from Triple Orlean and haven't talked to anyone. One of them is a famous sorcerers, too. What could they be doing at Elorium? Musicians busy playing. Hello, Lita. I need a night away from your own bed, eh? Heal entries, we have none. Nope. Can't talk to her through the plant. King Aragon's terribly sick. He's been getting worse and worse every day. It's awful. And we have Creepy Guy in Blue. Should I try and talk to him? So what's the freaky eyes there, stranger? Hmm. Why are you all dressed up like that? Are you a druid? Shouldn't she be out, like, eating tree bark and worshipping bugs or whatever? Hmm. Well, you're no fun. Should I try and talk to him? Yes. Hey, I've never seen you around here before. I would imagine not. My party and I have traveled here from the Temple of Orleans. Alori is the closest village to the Blood Forest, where the vampires have been staging ever more aggressive attacks against humans. We're here to make sure Alori's defenses will hold, should there be a large seal attack. May the goddess help us if that should happen. Simeon the Elder has said there is an archery contest of some import being held today. I'm sure you must have heard of it. Heard of it? I'm competing in it. Interesting. Pardon my asking, but aren't you a bit... small to be an archer? No. I just need a small bow, that's all. How quaint. At any rate, the Elder has invited us to see the village's archers in action. Hopefully, we'll be able to gauge the effectiveness of your defenses by watching it. Now, if you'll excuse me. And we talked to this maid. Hey, Lita, you're in the archery contest today, right? Do you think you'll win? Of course I will. I've been practicing months for this. Good. You have to believe in yourself. Excuse me, girl. I don't have the time to talk. Oh, that's the woman, actually. Oh, well. Can I try to talk to her? Oh, come on. You're a stranger. You're, st you're a strange outsider with a fancy dress. You don't get any many people like that in Aloria. And I especially don't have time to speak to some nosy girl who cannot take a hint. Cranky old bat. No wonder nobody likes outsiders around here. Alright. From here, we head back out, and I think we're pretty close to the temple. I've oh, still got to cross the bridge. 
Doran the Bard. Good morning, Lita. Do you feel that? The winds of change are blowing. Hello, Doran. You're always very cryptic. How can you tell it's not just a regular breeze? It is difficult to describe, but if you close your eyes, you can feel the pulse of air fell flow through you. I don't feel anything. Yes, it's subtle. Most people go their whole lives without ever noticing it. The world is speaking to you. It is speaking to all of us. Oh. I still don't feel anything. You will one day, Lita. Alright, so first off, there is something over here. Let's go ahead and grab it. Also notice she doesn't... Don't she have it dove in there? But here, she just... No, wait, what? Okay, I thought she just kind of like loosely stepped in. Uh, before we go there, I'm going to wander down here real quick. Because I happen to know that this is Adrian's place. And I'm hoping... Yes. It's Adrian's journal. Should I read it? Yes. So, in Brian's playthrough, he already had Adrian with him when he came here. Who wouldn't let him read? So I was very curious what it says. I'm so tired of being dirt poor. After Mom and Dad passed, it's been so hard to make a living. I should have paid more attention to Mom's lessons. Maybe now I can do something about it. This treasure is real if the contact is telling the truth. Maybe you can finally get enough coins to impress Lita. He wants to impress me? And we'll also... Grab that. Alright, so I mean the first clear sign is that Adrian is... Interested in Lita. Uh, oh, Lita, I'm glad I caught you. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, Mother? The cat just ran away. I was hoping you saw him. Percy, that idiot cat, where'd he go? He ran right past me and down towards the southeast. It's like he was possessed. How strange. Anyways, please look for him before you go out of town. Let's just get a new cat. Lita! Okay, okay, I'll go look for him. Thank you, he couldn't have gotten far. Stupid cat. Well, maybe an Adrian will help me find him. I'll ask him at the temple. Percy, idiot. Alright, let's grab a little of that. I wonder why everyone's pets ran away all at once like that. All at almost the same time, too. It's peculiar. Good day to you, young one. I have traveled here from Orleans Village, where many such as myself are touched by magic. Perhaps you would like to have your future told? Yeah, sure. Uh, I guess so. I see. Great change is coming for you. Something strange. I see a very young girl. Oh wait, that's you. The girl in my vision is small, so I thought... Hmm. You've got about five seconds to make this interesting lady. There's great love in your future with a, hmm, young man with blonde hair? Adrian? Yes! I don't think we're done here. And, of course, she's either not aware of it, doesn't want to admit it. Hard to say. Got a nun in here, which I initially thought was a table. I know it may sound silly, but ever since the temple's cat disappeared, I've been so lonely. Your cat ran away too? Yes. Seems everyone's pets have mysteriously, mysteriously disappeared lately. Ominous. Let's pick plants. Curious if these ever regrow. Ah, young Lita. It is good of you to come to the temple in these uncertain times. Is this that all? Things sometimes seem dark, child. But there's always light somewhere to be found. Good day, Lita. Brings you to the temple today. To see Adrian. I'm just here to see Adrian. Ah, uh, how sweet. Love is already blossoming between the two of you, isn't it? What? Oh, Lita, the boy's in love with you, and it will only be a matter of time before you feel the same. You'll pardon my skepticism, I hope. It's very endearing. One day the two of you will be married, I think. I'm leaving now. Understandably. But first, let's talk to, uh... The teacher? Professor Danson. Ah, you've shown up on time to class for once, and it's day off. Oh, very amusing. Ha 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 If you wish to study, which I can't imagine you do, give you the books from the shelves. 
let me know if you need help reaching the top shelf. One more person makes a crack about my height. Alright, what do we got here? History of RFL, we've read it. And Adrian. Oh, hey, Lita. I uh, wasn't really expecting I'd see you today. Mom told me what Papa said to you. He was pretty mad, huh? My dad's never liked me. I'm used to it. I'm sorry. He has such a bad temper. Don't worry about it. Shame we didn't find the ring, though. That would have made getting yelled at worth it. About that, actually. Actually? Actually what? Did you find it? Maybe. Here, look. It shows Adrian the golden ring with a little blue crystal on her finger. By the goddess, could that really be the ring? You're wearing it? Where did you find it? There was a long, twisty cave under that hole I fell into. The ring was on an altar at the end of it. No kidding. Ha! Huh. Lita, I could kiss you. We're going to be rich. Think so? If I hadn't fallen in that trap, what would have... That would have all been for nothing. Funny how things work out. Hey, we ought to use some of the coins from this to buy your dad a present. Good idea. My contact said to wear, not to wear it, so just make sure to take it off before we meet him. Okay. Oh, hey, my cat ran away. My mom asked me to look for him. If you want to pay me back for finding this ring, you could help me. I can do that. I've heard about people's pets acting strange and disappearing lately. I wonder if it's just a coincidence. Anyway, last I checked, my contact didn't show up at my place yet. We've got some time to look for your cat. Oh, and uh, by the way, Lita, I'm really glad we can still be friends after all this. Me too. Adrian has joined the party. Alright, now... Oh, Adrian has already proven himself with a durable melee fighter with access to his shield. He's a high block rate, high defense, and specializes in defending his allies. Alright, so now I will go to crafting. I'll pop over to him. First, he's got a few upgrades. Uh, can I... I do not have any, one of those, so we'll wait on that. I do, however, want to upgrade his axe. Because most of the time we're just going to be hitting things with it first. So that's what I'll upgrade first. And also, well, I should have pointed out what was there, but... Since he had things to upgrade, he had a little green plus by his head. So all I need to do to check if I can craft is pop in here. And see if there's a plus or not. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save. There we go. And I think this is a reasonable point to call it. Oh wait, let's go ahead and finish this. So, hey, why'd you put that thing on your finger anyway? Could be cursed for all you know. Mm, because it's pretty. Well, if your finger falls off, don't come crying to me. I won't. It's starting to glow a little since it's been in the sunlight, though. Lita has activated the power of this strange ring. Love the music cue for that. In the light, the little blue gem seems to shimmer like water. Unbeknownst to her, Lita has gained the ability to cast Elfin Focus, which grants an increase to prowess during combat. Alright, anyways, as I was saying, seems a pretty good place to go ahead and end the episode. This has been a fairly fish. Uh, well, it's been a completely uh, peaceful episode where the fish go. But, you know, we'll get things happening as we go. Some episodes will be a little more uh, fighty than others. But uh, this one will be fairly peaceful when we get back. Uh, finish talking to people in the village. That may take a bit. It's a fairly big place. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. But uh, until next time, catch you later.